I have built one of the best free-to-play teams in the game, and I'm going to show you how. What's going on, guys? Thrashback here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm showing off my free-to-play team that I started at the beginning of the year and showing how I was able to obtain a lot of these cards. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you every single one. Of course, I built a lot of these cards, so I can't show you those, but I can show you all the big pulls that led to me getting the rest. Now, whether there is Rush, Rivals or Champs, I make sure to play a bunch of games every week. I think on average, I play about 18 games a week, which is not that, a, like, that's not a, a crazy number, in my opinion, to play 18 games a week, considering how many people rage quit. Rush takes about two to two and a half hours every two weeks. It's an hour a week. That's really not that big of a deal. And of course, I had a lot of pack luck. I can't forget about that. Now, first of all, we have Mitch Marner here on the first line. 98 overall. I built him. I pretty much traded in my entire collection to get this card because I already had a full team. Why keep the cards in my collection? I treated them all in, got the collectibles, and built 98 Idols Marner. Next up, team of the season, 99 overall, Austin Matthews, and team of the season, 98, Jonathan Huberdeau. I assume he'll be in 99 soon. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the footage for Jonathan Huberdeau. I believe he was just a choice pack when there was 50 of them in the store. However, I do have this. Let's see if we get someone for the team here. One last ultimate pack. I probably won't play with the team much more from here on out. I'll open my rivals rewards, but I don't see me. Oh my God. I pulled Austin Matthews, which is absolutely insane. So there you go. That's how I got the team of the season Matthews. On the second line, I have 94 McKibben. Team of the season, Sidney Crosby. On the draw. Oh! And I have Connor McDavid, X Factor up to a 98. I traded in a bunch of the 86 plus uh, prime times in Team of the Weeks to get a bunch of collectibles and upgraded him a couple overall because why not? What else am I doing with the collectibles? But there you go. I have 98 McDavid now. So that's the second line. It's pretty damn good. Pulling both Nathan McKinnon and Sidney Crosby definitely helped the team. McKinnon I pulled way back in January. Crosby, obviously, I pulled during uh, Team of the Season, but that's a huge help. On line three, you guys may have missed it, I pulled a 95 Alex Dabrinkat. Guaranteed an 80 or better in here. Let's make it an 81 and change everything around. And that was out of Hut Rush. So that was a huge pull. I have 98 MSP Ryan O'Reilly. Now, everything's going to be positive for you, Foxy. Always, always. Where's your purple? I don't know, man. That's from a milestone reward. The NHL player choice pack you get for completing 400 wins, I think was the objective. So 400 wins throughout the year. And last but not least, Dylan Larkin, my favorite player. Of course, I had to build him up all the way. One of my favorite cards in the game. He has over a point per game for me as well. So phenomenal card. On the fourth line, we have Troy Terry. Any good content today? There's a few new Team of the Season cards and the 97 Stamkos that came out. It's going to be... Oh! Bang! Troy Terry! At center, we have Tyler Sagan. I built, obviously, with different collectibles that you get every single event. I was able to build him up. I traded some stuff in and got him up all the way to 94. And last but not least, we have 94 Patrick Kane. Pretty much did the exact same thing with him. Now, EA pretty much makes us do get an 89 or a 90 every single event for free. If you complete all the objectives, challenges, and heart rush, use those collectibles, you trade them in, you upgrade the card, you can get a 90 overall pretty much every event. I did that for every event, then traded those cards in to get better collectibles for different cards so that's how i was able to make say marner and larkin and that's how i did it it's the easiest way to do it for sure on defense i have 96 overall rasmus dolan again i don't have the footage for him he was just a choice pack however i do have team of the season adam fox Now, what you've seen there was the Alexander Ovechkin pull I got. Um, I was able to sell him, got about 300k, which allowed me to buy the Team of the Season choice pack, and I ended up getting Adam Fox, which is a huge, huge help to the team. Uh, Henrik Tom Tomernes, uh, I'm not totally sure how to say it. I apologize. Another choice pack pull. Unfortunately, a weak choice pack in that one. That was also from the uh, the OV pull. I, I basically traded OV for two Team of the Season choice packs, and I ended up getting Adam Fox and Henrik Tomernes 
We have Drew Doughty, who I've been building, uh, if you guys have missed over the last few weeks, just from Rush, Rivals and Champs, I've traded everything in and was able to get Doughty up to a 96. I will not be getting him up to a 98. That's just not going to happen. And on my third D pair, we have Devontae's. I'm not totally sure where I got him. I looked up the date, April 9th. I don't have a video for me pulling him, so I don't totally know where he came from. Could have been a choice pack, could have been a reroll. I'm sorry, I don't have the footage for that one. And then we have Eric Carlson. This is the free one you get from doing all these style icon objectives. So another free card. And then I have 93 overall, Freddie Anderson from the All-Star event. I don't have the footage of me pulling him, but I'm 99% sure he was a reroll. So, so, I mean, another decent pull. Uh, I, I honestly, I'm not sure. It's been a long time. I looked it up. I couldn't find where I got him from, but I was glad I kept some of these videos and I have the, the footage of me pulling these cards because pulling Matthews and Crosby and McKinnon and O'Reilly and Debrinkat and Terry, it really helps. Now, that being said, of course, I also built 94 Sagan. I built 98 Martyr. I built 96 Doughty. You can build a lot of cards pretty easily in this game. EA did a great job for free-to-play players this year, in my opinion. For abilities, I have Freddy Anderson with light work and post-to-post. -post, and then the rest, all you're going to see is defense with shutdown and tape to tape and then forwards with tape to tape i stacked everybody with tape to tape so that way it's a lot easier to make passes i do think it makes a difference uh you could call me crazy i probably am crazy but i think it makes a difference for synergies i have distributor spark gladiator workhorse thief wingman buzzing light the lamp bombarded booming shot fly the zone and heart and soul so a lot of synergies a lot of help to the team here i'm not going to sit there and say i play a ton on this account because i don't I think I average probably 18 games a week. That's with champs and rivals combined. So not a lot of games being played. I just take all my rewards and put them back into the team. One thing you'll notice about my collection is that it's completely bare. I have less than 80 cards in my collection here. Uh, I don't I don't see a reason to have a ton of stuff. Like I'm going to do rerolls with these cards here because that's what I do every single week with them. Those are just from rivals rewards. And then any other card I can have here, I just trade in. Like I could get collectibles for Jarvis and Keith. Once the round is done, these cards could be, what, 95, 96 overall? That's a ton of collectibles to go towards another master. And that's essentially what I've been doing the entire year. Every time I get a big pull, I use it on my team until I don't use them anymore. Like all the all-star cards. I had Stamkos, I had Larkin, I had Gaudreau, I had Debrinkat, I had like two or three others. I got all kinds of all-star cards and I traded them all in and that allowed me to build masters. And that's what you have to do if you want to survive as a free-to-play player. Take, for example, the Stanley Cup cards. Every two weeks, you're getting 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 collectibles. There's uh, four rounds, 13, 26, and be 52 collectibles just from the objectives. With the Stanley Cup challenges, you're probably getting another four or five per thing. So let's say five each, you're up to 72 collectibles. And then whatever else you might get from Rush. Now, I'm not going to say that's an absolute ton, but 72 collectibles is enough to get you a pretty high overall card. That's what I'm going to be doing with my collectibles. I'm saving them. So say, hypothetically, I made this Drew Doughty. How many collectibles did it take for me to make this Drew Doughty? So it was five for the random choice pack. So five plus five, that's 10. That's 15. We're up to 27. We're up to 41. And we're up to 59. So we can get to a 94 just from the objectives. And without trading anything in towards it, you'll be able to get a 94 overall card. Uh, that's actually not that bad. You get a free 94 pretty much by completing the objectives and challenges. Of course, that's totally up to you to do them. You don't have to do them, but you get a 94 overall card out of it by playing the game. I've been doing this for every event. This, this is what they do. They release these cards, they release these objectives, and you can trade in the collectibles for maybe not a maxed out version, but you're getting at least a 90 overall every event. You gotta think, once you get all these 90 overalls, you trade them in, you get more collectibles for the cards that you do want, and suddenly you have a really stacked team like I do. Now, of course, I've had insane pack luck as well. I'm not going to say that I haven't. My pack luck is absolutely ridiculous, and most people do not get the pulls that I get. I want to throw that out there. But also, most people don't open the amount of packs that I do. That's my record there. I've played less than 600 games. Eh, a little bit over 600 games now after uh, last week's champs. So a little bit over 600 games now. Uh, 600 games. The game's been out for like 30 weeks. So you can do the math there. I'm not playing an absolute ton of games every week. I feel like it's pretty obtainable to have a pretty solid free-to-play team. Of course, I have had a lot of pack luck. I need to, I can't throw it out there because clearly not everyone's going to pull Team of the Season Matthews and Crosby and that 94 McKinnon is a huge help. I had him back in January. Obviously, I had a lot of luck. Regardless, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know down below what you think of my free-to-play team. Any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay frosty.